Hey guys, welcome. We've got a very interesting video today. Uh, Jake Paul has announced his return already. Uh, quite soon after his last fight uh, against Andre August, Jake Paul will be returning this March. I do believe it's March 2nd on the Serrano card. Uh, he is going to be co-main event. So that's pretty cool. Jake stepping down so that Serrano can be the main event. Obviously, last time we saw Jake Paul as a co-main event was either the Tyson Fury versus... Was it Roy Jones Jr.? Did those Was it those two who had a fight? And Jake Paul was the undercard against Ben Askren, or it was Deji versus Jake, uh, was co-main event to Logan versus KSR one. Uh, Jake has made a tweet, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna read it. Okay, so this is this is Jake's tweet. Guess who's back? Jake already? Yes, I'm on a mission. But this this one is uh, much bigger than me. So obviously, obviously, he's talking about his return gonna be on co-main event. So he's basically saying, look, it ain't about me this time. It's about the other fighters on the card so i think that's pretty cool from jake we don't really see jj do this you know he doesn't have but that's because of star power when it comes to misfits he has the star power over a lot of them so he doesn't really have to uh the tickets will be on sale next wednesday december 27th uh, if you guys are interested in all of jake's uh what jake has said it's it's all here for you to read i think that's great uh, one of the greatest Puerto Rican boxers, uh, Amanda Serrano. Uh, Amanda Serrano is very good. Uh, I wonder if next year we're going to get the rematch for Serrano versus Taylor due to Taylor just winning against Chantel Cameron in a in a dicey decision. I'd say I did say she won, but it was it was a lot closer than what I thought. I don't think I actually said she won. Did I? I don't even remember. Um, uh, my brain has gone since then. Uh, I don't know who Serrano's opponent is. Um, and then Warner Walton is having his debut there. Uh, in front of 20,000 people. Does it say where the fight is being held? In San San Juan, I, I think it is. San Juan. And should it... Okay, that's pretty cool. And there's the... Uh, there's, there it is. There's the picture. Yeah, it's San Juan in Puerto Rico. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know the time difference from here in Puerto Rico, so I'm going to have to check that out, see if that's a, a late event or if that's an early, it might even be early morning, could be anything. But this is this is a good fight. This here, is it is it Mink? I want to say Mink. I might be wrong about that, I will check, don't worry. But yeah, I don't know who Jake Paul will be fighting. It's got to be a step up from uh, Andre August. Not, it doesn't have to be a massive step up. It's just gotta be a little bit of a step up, just just to get Jake prepared and you know in the in the pro scene. But this is cool. Uh, I like that Jake promotes a lot of people. Now they're probably under his name. A lot of these fighters that are gonna be on the card, they're gonna be under the MVP, the most valuable prospects or most valuable promotions. So it's just pretty cool that Jake's doing that. That's all that we've really got for this video. Nothing for like nothing too big that Jake has said. He's just announced his return fight, uh, which is. A lot sooner than a lot of people probably would have thought. You know, Jake is probably going to fight every two, three, four months. So that is cool to see. Uh, and yeah, Amanda Serrano being main event. That's great. Women's boxing is, is, is getting shown off a lot more for the past few years. Uh, past few years, I'd say about two years, I think it's been, that it's been shown off. Uh, where it's been like main cards and, and mainly seen. And obviously, Warner Walton, uh, no idea who he is, but I'm interested to see who he is. And we're even going to go deep dive into this card. I don't really want to talk about Serrano until prediction. You know, there, there's a lot more backstory between uh, behind Amanda Serrano that I don't know and I'd like to get into. Uh, so if I am to do that, I'd have to do it now. But yeah, it's it's the same as the Day, the day of Reckoning card. I'm going to do a prediction for it, uh, either today or tomorrow. Uh, but... I need to do a prediction on that, but I feel like I shouldn't break down that fight because their skill level is like a hundred times better than mine. So I can't sit there and be like, oh, well, I like this from AJ. I don't like that from AJ. You know, they've obviously done the game a lot longer than I have, so they understand it better. Uh, but Jake Paul, I enjoy being critical about him because, yeah, he's he's, he's on the influencer side, but he's, he's, getting, he's, he's getting there. Uh, he also had an announcement uh, like yesterday or the day before. Where he's training with the American team for the Paris Olympics. I thought that's great. Especially as that fight's coming up uh, just before that. So that's not too bad. I'm interested. I do. I am actually on Jake Paul's hype train right now. Because 
he's the only one who's really got a name out there in the influence scene uh, that people really care about, like most people would care about. Like you'd say, ah, oh, people care about the Misfits. Yeah, people do care about Misfits, but mainly people are going to be aiming at Jake. So it's like, yeah. And Jake's doing quite well, you know. He did have the uh, a bumpy ride against Tommy Fury. But I do believe Jake Paul will come back for that and get the rematch and probably win it. I don't really see much of Tommy Fury. He, in my opinion, he's just levels below a lot of these guys. And yeah, that's what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you either tomorrow or today. I don't know. We'll see when we get this video out. But hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.